Welcome to February's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is binary tree right side view. Given a binary tree, imagine yourself standing on the right side of it. Return the values of the nodes you can see ordered from the top to the bottom. So here with this example, we can see the answer should be 1, 3, 4 because these nodes are the ones that are on the right side. Now, there's a couple of approaches you could take. We already know that we need to traverse the entire tree to determine what the height of the tree is because we're not going to know that until we traverse the entire tree. Um, so we could either do that in a breadth first search or a depth first search. I'm going to do a depth first search um, and just do a pre-order traversal. Uh, what I'll do is create some sort of lookup table that's going to store the height of our tree as the key and append every single node value into that as a list. So if we traversed it just depth first search, uh, what would happen is we would add that to level 0, then we would come here, add that to level 1, uh, then we would go here, add that to level 2, then we would come back here to add this into level 1, and then this to level 2. Uh, the very last node value is going to be the rightmost side, right, for each key. So we just need to return that. So that seems simple enough. First, let's start off by creating some sort of lookup, and I'm going to make this a list. What I'll do is write a depth for search function, and what we'll need to do is pass in the node as well as the height. So, if not node, we know that we should return immediately. Otherwise, let's add our node value to this lookup table. And what we'll say is to lh do an append the node dot value. After that, we can just do a depth for search to the left and add one to the height, as well as depth for search to the right and add one to the height as well. So after that, make sure to run it on the root. The height will start off with zero. And we will need to just return, let's say, for key value in l.items. Um, we're going to need to sort this, right, by, by height. And we need to return the v, the last one here, the last item from our list for each one of these heights. And that should return us the right answer. So let's see here, this should be 134. It is, let's see if that works. And it does. So time complexity wise, it's O of N times the sorting of the heights, which would be probably H log H. But one thing to keep in mind here is we actually don't even need to sort it. Dictionaries are sorted by how they get keys generated. So the height's always going to be in order for this dictionary already. So we actually don't even need to sort it. It would take care of the sorting itself by the traversal. Um, now one other thing that we might realize is we actually don't even need to keep all the previous information inside of a list, right? Uh, what we can do instead is traverse from the reverse order. Like we can go the right way first and whatever gets added first, that should be the very last node. So instead of having a list here, what I'm going to do is make this an integer, and we'll say if h not in our l, uh, then we can just say l h is going to be equal to the node value. The only thing we need to make sure here is to traverse right first instead of left, and this would end up being the same. In fact, we don't even need to do this. We can just say return l dot values, which will return a list already sorted to us. So let's see if this works. And this works as well. Uh, time complexity is still the same, but we do save some memory. Um, if this was like a big binary tree, we wouldn't have a list full of all the node values. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.